Hey guys, welcome back to the Wrestling Podcast. We have your host, me, and Will Hudson. And we have a special guest, Chase Horn. How you doing, Chase? Doing good. How about y'all? Uh, I'm doing really good. Um, so let's get on with the first question. Um, can you please tell us a little about yourself and some of your accomplishments? Uh, yeah, I'm Chase Horn. I, uh, I'm a two-time state champ. I got second at Super 32 2019. Uh, I got double third at Fargo 2019 as well. Nice. nice. So you got eighth at, as a freshman at Super 32, and then your sophomore year you came and got second to a tough opponent in the finals. What adjustments did you? Uh, what adjustments and differences did you make in that just one year? Um, a lot of it was confidence. I had a lot more confidence in myself going in, being an already already placed. Um, yeah, I got a lot stronger, a lot of confidence, and that's basically it. Yes. Yeah. Um, most people think big men wrestling is slow, um, and that people don't take a lot of shots. But when I've seen you wrestle and you always take shots and you know how to scramble and you're really funky, um, what have you done to be more flashy and like a wrestler who moves really well for being kind of big? Yeah, uh, a lot of that's from my coach, Coach Carr. He makes sure I'm never uh, flat-footed, always keeping my feet moving. Uh, and I, I, Another thing I do, I like to wrestle with lighter kids so they don't scramble, just kind of feel positions out, stuff like that. Nice. Nice. So, what were you feeling after your Fargo match uh, when you got third? You said in both styles you got third. Um, yeah. What were the emotions like? Um, you know, it's it was kind of disappointing that I lost. Uh, you know, it's everybody's dream to go out there on that big stage, run out and go through the tunnel. I didn't get to get that, but I went ahead and tried to get the next best thing, try to shake it off and get back and get the next best thing. Nice. Yeah. That must have been um, – wait, what, do you know what you lost in, like, in the semis or the quarters? Um, I lost I lost in the quarters in freestyle, and then I lost in the semis to the, in Greco. It was, a, it was the same kid both times. Oh, uh, that, that, must, that must have Yeah, started. yeah. But, um, that's, that shows a lot of grit um, coming back and taking third. Yeah. Um, so – how are your experiences in like Fargo and Super Thirty Two with like the crowd? Because there's like a huge crowd there. Yeah. Um. Well, one of my coaches always says, Team Georgia coach Donovan Pannon. He always says, take it in, look at look at everyone, take it in, and then and then just try to take take it out the other year. Just make it like it's any other match. Like not not a crowd's not even there. Yeah. That's so, a lot. You. You wrestle and live in Georgia, but it, it doesn't get the press that um, like Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New Jersey does. Uh, but I think I think I think uh, Georgia has some of the best coaches, and you can put the best wrestlers up against those states, and they would be pretty successful. What are your thoughts on Georgia wrestlers? Um, Georgia wrestlers, I mean, they're always coming hard, especially in the national scene. It's almost like we got a chip on our shoulder. Uh, we had the best Fargo ever. The team George, that Georgia's ever had last um, last year. We got, I think, I think we had eight kids from Georgia in the class of twenty two um, rankings. Uh, so yeah, we're on the rise. It's it's pretty cool to be a part of that group. Nice. Yeah. Um. So you're a two time state champ. Is your goal to be a four time state champ? Uh yeah, that's one. That's been one of my goals since I was a little kid. And uh, I started wrestling. My school, my school's never had a uh, four-time state champ. So, and it's people like uh, Coach Carr went there, Bryce went there, Bryce Carr, uh, Anthony Johnson. I don't know if you that you know who that is, but he's a UFC yeah. fighter. Oh yeah, 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 I know Anthony Johnson. Yeah. So I mean, um, we got some pretty good wrestlers, but yeah. that'd be cool to be the first one. Yeah, that'd be that'd be really cool being the yeah. first time four-time state champ. Can, can you talk about what coaches has helped you to get where you are now? Like, can you elaborate? Uh, yeah. Um, I'd say the main person is definitely uh, Gerald Carr. He, I've been training with him since I started, since I was six years old. Uh, he's he's took me, you know, since I was a little kid, a little kid with pudgy kid with goggles, take me uh, <laughs> Super 32 finals. So, and uh, his son Bryce Carr helped me uh, since he started coaching about a year or two ago. I took me a long ways. 
them too, definitely. Yeah. Um, so what's your mindset like when you get into the like really big matches like Super 32 finals and um, Fargo and what the Fargo for third place? Yeah. Um, mainly I just – I try not to make it a big deal, make it like every other match. Just kind of, you know, keep it chill. Don't, don't get, don't get uh, too much in my head. Just wrestling like it's any other match. Go out there and yeah. let it fly. Nice. So, who's somebody you look up to or, like, who's a mentor or somebody that means a lot to uh, you? Like yeah, uh, I'd say, I'd say uh, probably Bryce. He's such a – just the way he destroys – he destroys everyone in the practice room. His confidence, like his speed. It's, I mean, it's it's really amazing, just to see how how far you ha how far you have to go, how college wrestling is. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um. Do Do you have any goals for this upcoming season? Uh, this upcoming season, uh, I would, I would definitely want to win Super Thirty Two. I'm sorry. Uh, for the high school season, I want to go undefeated. Uh, throughout the year and win another state title. Yeah, that sounds pretty tough, but I think you can do it. hope so. Yeah. Do you, do you have a desire to wrestle in college? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's been my dream since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of going along with that, uh, what school do you want to go to if, yeah. if you wrestle in college? Like, a D, would it be D1 or – uh, yeah, I want to go D1 college. Actually, colleges start calling me in a few days, June fifteenth. Nice. Um, so, you know, I I don't I don't guess I really have a preference, but I, you know, I like uh, Ohio State, Minnesota, NC State, lots of like that. Yeah. Uh, do you cut any weight? Um, not regularly. When I was, I had a. I get up to like two thirty, but that was about it when I was wrestling two twenty. So I mean, I had to cut very minimal weight. Yeah. Uh, okay. What 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 do you plan to wrestle this year? Two twenty or um two eighty heavyweight? Or what are you weighing now? Um. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna bump up to uh, two eighty five next year. Uh. So state last year was my last tournament going two twenty. Um. I was decided to go ahead and bump up because you know in college it goes from one eighty seven to heavyweight and. I figured go ahead and get a feel for those heavier guys. And uh, right now I'm walking around about 235. So putting on a little bit of weight. I want to be about 240-ish whenever season starts. Okay. Um, so what's your favorite thing about wrestling? Uh, man, that's a good question. Uh, I like that it's just one person. No, You can't blame it on anyone else. It's just, you know, you can't blame it on – your wide receiver for not catching the pass. You can't blame it on your lineman for not blocking, you know. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's it's just, it's crazy. It's just whoever put, put in the most work wins, you know. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the way I view it. So, why have you been doing the train over quarantine when you uh, weren't allowed to be in a room? Or what have you been doing when you were, like, not being able to get to wrestle? Yeah, um, I've been fortunate enough to, to have been able to get uh, some one-on-ones, some private lessons. Uh, me and uh, Noah Pettigrew, I'm sure you all know him. He, uh, yeah, me and him been able to get some private lessons in with uh, Coach Carr. And I've uh, just been lifting and running, just getting better however I can for this time. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So how has wrestling helped you in life? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it's helped me in life. Uh, I say it's helped me uh, understand that what, whatever you want in life, you got to work for it. Um, if you want to be good at something, you have to work for it. Uh, probably that, and um, it's probably discipline a lot too. That'd be a lot of discipline. Besides, besides wrestling, what hobbies do you have? Um. I don't know. I like to sleep a lot. I nap all the time. Awesome. That's probably about, that's probably my best hobby. Nice. <laughs> um, what's your favorite place to eat after weigh-ins? Uh, 
whichever buffet is closest. Golden Corral, usually. Um, I like pizza, too. I don't, know, I, I don't really, you know, I don't really have a preference. I'm, I'm, I can eat just about anything. Nice. What, what motivates you to keep on working and getting better? Um, just the love of the sport. You know, I, I, I feel like when I work, when I work at wrestling, it doesn't even feel like work. It's just so fun to me. I just love it. Um, you know, I just want to be that number one guy. It doesn't even feel like, it doesn't even feel like work to me. It just feels, you know, another day in the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's someone you look up to? Um, I'd say I look up the Gable Stevenson. That's, that's probably, I've probably watched just about any match you can find about, with him. He, um, the way he moves his feet to be so what so big, how explosive he is. Uh, that's definitely somebody I look up to. Yeah. He, he does not wrestle like a heavyweight. He wrestles. No, not at yeah. all. He's really that's quick. video. I see that video of him. He said, "He said I'm gonna take him down. You're neutral." Oh yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Confidence. His confidence. That's another thing. Yeah. That's awesome. Um. Okay. So, so I, another question is, who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Is it is it Gable? Yeah, I say I say my favorite wrestler to watch is all time probably Gable. Okay. I think I think Gable's gonna make the uh, 2021 Olympic team. In my opinion. Yeah, we did. The Olympic trials predictions a couple a couple weeks ago, yeah. And those Emmett picked um picked Nick, yeah Nick Wojcicki, and yeah. Gable. Yeah, the I mean the jumps he's making is crazy. He's, I know. No, he's getting so much better. I, yeah. You know he trains he trains with Brock Lesnar. Yeah, yeah. I saw that's, that. Yeah, that's that's cool. I actually got a poster of Nick Wojcicki up there. Oh somewhere. really? Yeah, I think I got yeah. his. He's up there somewhere. Nice. Um, what, is your, what, is, what is your favorite move and why? What's my favorite move? Um, my favorite move would probably be snaps. Just like, I know it's kind of a basic answer, but this, how, may, how much you can get off of a snap, you know, get people out of position, get to your shots. Um, you know, it, it's, it can open up a lot of people. I feel like that's, you know, kind of the foundation of, of hand fighting. Yeah. So, do you have like a – is this a neutral or your favorite position? Uh, um, I like I like top. I'd probably say neutral is probably my second favorite. I like top and uh, tilts and – because I feel like, especially in freestyle, you get a gut wrench going, you can end the match or a leg lace. Yeah. That's, I, like get, I like getting off the mat early. So. Uh-huh. Do you have a favorite college – that you watch, uh, yeah, like to just watch your favorite college. To watch, uh, I like Ohio State a lot. Um, it's really fun to see Penn State wrestlers how loose they are. You know, just go out there and let it fly. That's fun to watch. Um, I wouldn't say I have a favorite. I like watching basically everyone. Everyone. So, uh, so someone in the comments said, "Is the is the Gramby your favorite move?" Is the Gramby? Um. I do like Granby. That's probably my favorite move from bottom. Did you hit that on Braxton? Yeah, I hit it on Braxton. Yeah. I was, hey, I was on the I, – I could see myself on the flow. Yeah, I saw that. Um, so. so, elaborate. Where, where do you train and what team? Uh, Storm uh, – it's Storm Wrestling Center. Uh, it's in Perry, Georgia. Uh, I've been going there since I was six. So, yeah. Nice. People from all over Georgia. Great room. Um, do you have a favorite wrestling brand? Favorite wrestling brand? Um, I'd say Rudis definitely has the best bags. Mm. Um, shoes? Uh, I like Nike shoes. I like I like a little bit of Adidas stuff. I don't, I don't like much of their newer stuff. What about, what, about, what about your internationals? My international? Yeah, I love those. Asics, ASIC might have the best shoes. Yeah. Yeah, I love I love the international lights. They're so mm-hmm. comfy. Yeah, I got a pair Great of those. Shoes. Do you have the pair? Do you have the Japanese ones? No, I don't have those. I, I wish I could uh, get a pair. Yeah, those are super nice. Yeah, I know. All the Russians wear them. Yeah, I know. So, well, how old were you when you started wrestling? And can you tell us how did you even get into the sport? Uh, yeah, I was six when I started, and uh. 
I remember my dad, he was asking me, he said, what, uh, he said, it was winter, so, so two sports are going on, uh, basketball and wrestling, and he asked me if I want to do basketball or wrestling, I said, I said, I want to wrestle, because I thought it was WWE, I loved WWE when I was a little kid, so I went to the first practice, and I was just laying there, teaching us double legs, I was like, what, this isn't, this isn't a like, on TV, <laughs> but, yeah, that's the reason I started, so. Um, what do you do to warm up before a match? Uh, a lot of kids, they, you know, like to get, uh, they have a lot of warm up to do. I don't, I don't really, I kind of keep it low key, just chill. Um, I'll put some headphones on, uh, I'll stretch a little bit, maybe do some fast feet. And then I kind of just put my hands in my pockets and just put my head down and just get ready. So. Talking about how you listen to music, um, do you have a favorite song to listen for a match? Um, I'll, I usually don't even bring my own headphones. I just use whoever's whoever had a pair of like, hey, can I borrow their headphones? They, I just wear so whatever the they're uh, whatever they're rocking with, I usually rock with. So yeah, so I can listen. I like just about anything. So um, aside from wrestling, is there do you have like a hidden talent? Like what is something? Um, What's up here? Spike ball. Spike ball. Mac Emmett and Tyson in a little bit. Hopefully in a few weeks. All right. We'll see that. So, <laughs> if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe Hawaii. That seems cool. Just lay out on the beach. Lay yeah. out on the beach and chill. Do some pina coladas. <laughs> um. If you could wrestle anyone in the past or present, who do you want to wrestle? Um, I don't know. I'd say I'd say probably Ben Askren. This this just seems like he has the he has the oddest feel I could I could think of, and just like getting the feel that I think would be something cool. Yeah. But it just, How do you think that would go? Man, I don't know. He's. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I wouldn't know what to do. He's so scrambly, just like in every yeah. situation. Uh-huh. I scramble, but I don't. I don't know. Ben, yeah, Ben's not, puppet. Not like not Ben, like ben Askren. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? You almost took down Braxton Amos with that scramble. That's true. That's true. But I think Ben would do a lot more than take down Braxton Amos. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, what what are some long time what's some what's some long time goals you have for wrestling? Like, what's your overall goal? Um, I definitely want to coach one day. I don't know how to, and maybe high school, college, maybe start my own club. Um, I definitely want to do that someday. Um, I think it'd be really cool to. I, I think I want to be a. I definitely want to be a uh, four-time All-American. You know, win win some national titles. That'd be awesome. And uh, make. And I think making the world team and Olympic team would be really cool too. Yeah. Um, what's your diet like for wrestling? Um, now that I've been trying to put on some weight after two twenty, try uh, a lot of. Chicken, steak, a lot of rice, some vegetables, yeah. potatoes, a lot of protein shakes. Did you have um, like a certain diet during the season? Um, not really. I, uh, you know, I, it was kind of the same thing, just not as much, not as much portion. You know, rice, vegetables, um, chicken, steak. You know, stuff to get in, replenish. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, I love that milk. I love milk. Well, yeah. that, yep, that's everything. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming, Chase. We've had a really good time. Yeah, I appreciate it.